when I'm experiencing extraordinary change or challenge or, or just confusion even about where to go or what's happening in our world, I always look to artists to help me understand those things. And there is always someone that is ready to interpret that moment in a way that helps me engage with both my mind and my heart. I love soup. I love this is a true community pull. There is something to be said about what it means to sit together and eat together, to vote together. Even if we're not voting in the same way, we're all in the same place. The soup grant let me buy the first equipment I needed for the podcast, and that is a weekly audio show that centers and celebrates Black women, girls, and femmes in sewing. We have, up to this date, 180 episodes. I'm really grateful to Soup and to New City Arts for that initial funding. I utilized my personal moving boxes as like someone who moved from the other side of the world to the U.S. Moving boxes were something that stuck with me. Ultimately, like moving boxes are light, but they carry like so much like weight to them in terms of like personal history. My life really condensed into like these like objects, wanting to use those personal relics within my work. So um, I created these sculptural forms using sand and a construction material, dry lock, to create the sense of heaviness and weight towards these sculptures I created. I was a resident artist at New City Arts in the studio space and also had an exhibition in the gallery. As a response to COVID, my perception of time had really changed and mutated and become very uncertain. And so I wanted to mark and honor each day in a new way. And so for me, art making is really the way that I can understand what's happening in the world. The viewer had to come into the gallery, they had to part through hair, and then be in the middle of and tango with and be tangled in this contrast between joy and terror. The joy was represented by a lot of photographs of black women doing the things that they love the most. And the terror aspect is the report pages from Breonna Taylor's murder, since that really got to me. Painted on sheet rock is a representation of the shots fired into her home. Those elements, the weaving, the photographs, and the sculpture all combined and I call it, you can't compromise my joy, period. Without the residency program, I don't think I would have thought about how to create an experience, how to create emotion and feeling with what I wanted to say and what I needed to say. New City Arts is, it's a place where really high quality, really beautiful and impressive art happens in an unpretentious way. One thing that I love about this job and that feels really fulfilling is being a connector for artists. So any chance that I get to connect artists with other artists or people who can realize their projects, I feel so fulfilled and my, my heart just feels really happy. It's the welcome gallery. So I did honestly feel really, really welcome by everyone here. People keep coming back because of the community. They come back because I think they feel the, the energy they feel the care and attention and support. And that is very magnetic, you know? Artists have a lot to teach us about imagination and radical imagination. And so, no, a single painting is not gonna be the thing that ends homelessness in our community, but it can be a catalyst for thought, a way of bringing people together and a tool so that we can actually come together to solve those problems.